Now another story you're seeing only on 7 tonight involving Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts pick to lead the state patrol. Yeah, we've told you about concern over Brad Rice, the retired trooper ran Sarpy County's 911 center since last summer. In the early 2000s, he was on interview panels that repeatedly denied a female trooper a promotion in Norfolk. Tonight we're getting our first look at the court transcripts from the civil suit that followed against the state. KTV News Watch 7's Jeremy Maskell is live for the I team. And Brandy and Rob, those transcripts were officially produced at KETV News Watch 7's request. Testimony from 2007 that could raise questions at Rice's confirmation hearing before state senators. In 2007, as a captain on the Nebraska State Patrol, Brad Rice testified in federal court as a witness in a civil discrimination suit filed by Carla Schreiber, a female sergeant repeatedly denied promotions. Schreiber's attorney, Vince Valentino, considered Rice a critical witness. So critical that uh, the state had to rely on him uh, and called him as a witness to support the lack of recommending Carla for. Uh, three of the five positions. But State Patrol Sergeant Tom Miola's testimony is what makes headlines today. Miola testified about a conversation he said he had with Rice in or around 2000, saying under oath, quote, Rice made the comment that he didn't feel females should be in law enforcement, and his words, generally speaking, were mentally disciplined or physically up to the task, end quote. Rice denied making that statement in his own testimony and Tuesday refused an interview request. A statement from Governor Pete Ricketts office says, quote, Brad Rice did not make that comment. During the trial, he was not allowed to testify in response. This claim is inconsistent with Brad Rice's character and service to the state patrol, which includes training Brenda Confirst, who went on to serve as NSP's first female troop area commander, end quote. Now take a look back at Tom Miola's testimony in 2007, and Miola said under oath regarding that reported conversation, Rice made the comment that, quote, Confirst is the exception, end quote. As for then-Captain Rice's testimony, he said gender had no bearing on his promotion decisions, referencing other factors, including performance and interviews. Rice did confirm calling Sergeant Schreiber a big girl in a 2004 interview, and speaking about management, said he did not think Schreiber's affirming style would work in the open job. But Rice also testified he did not have the opinion that women should not be in law enforcement. Now again, Rice was a witness in that suit against the state and the patrol. Rice, by the way, already on the job. He started yesterday. Those state senators still have to confirm the pick, and their vote is binding. A hearing for that, though, has not yet been set. Brandy, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. An Omaha police officer resigns, even though a grand jury found him justified in a deadly shooting. Alvin Lugod's resignation 